Hello everybody and welcome to my 11th Intermediate Excel tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to continue going into VLOOKUPs uh, and show you both how to use one across multiple spreadsheets uh, and also how to use it in order to check whether um, a, something exists on another list. So I've got a list of customers um, and I've also got a list of sales. Um, so you'll see the sa in the sales the name is blank so first thing I'm going to do is just reference the, the customer name so equals v lookup open bracket and again first parameter is what you're looking for so we're looking for the customer ID comma then we're looking for the table so we can just click here I'm going to notice that it comes it automatically writes in the sheet name for you and puts an exclamation mark which is how you reference another sheet and then rather than highlighting the table like this I'm actually just going to highlight both the columns um, because the where, when my table's taken up the whole sheet there's really no need to reference just that that one bit that that one table I can just reference all of the columns um, and then I don't need to use the F4 on this because uh, I'm not going to be even if I drag the formula down the columns are still going to stay the same so it's not going to be a problem the only time you would want to use it is if you're moving your VLOOKUP across in which case you'd want to put F4s in like that and make them dollar signs then I'm going to press comma and it's going to ask me for the column index number so I'm looking for name which is in the second column so I'm going to put two and then finally comma false and if you don't know what I've just done there then watch my previous tutorial number 10 uh, and it'll explain how you write out the basics of how you write out the VLOOKUP formula press enter that's going to draw through the name um, and then drop that down and that's going to fill in all the names for me Right. Now, that's how you reference across a sheet. Simply put the sheet name and an exclamation mark before the table that you're looking up against. Um, so, what I want to do next is go into this one and go uh, bought something. Okay. And what I want to do here is just look up for each customer and see whether they've put something on this table. So I'm going to go equals v lookup open bracket customer id comma table I only really care about this one column so I'm only going to highlight that and I'm going to put in one because I don't uh, I'm just going to look up to see if it's there. So let's drop this down and you'll notice that rather than um, rather than uh, giving me a value that I'm looking up against, all it's doing is it's either returning it itself or it's erroring. So I'm going to use that error to my advantage um, by putting it in an if statement. If open bracket is error, so I'm going to test it to see if it's an error. If it is an error then I'm going to write nothing bought and I might have spelled bought wrong then or brought but um, I'm not that bothered uh, and then if it's f if the is error is false and it hasn't returned an error then something bought close bracket so if we drop this down then Voila, it's going to tell me exactly how many people have brought things, how many people haven't brought things. Um, and uh, it's going to bug me if I don't find well out whether it's bought or brought. So if you know, then please write in the comments uh, and you will have greatly increased my uh, spelling abilities. Um, so that's how you combine. The, that's how you can make use of the error uh, section of view lookups. Uh, the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a, a H lookup, uh, aka a horizontal lookup. Uh, so thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.